Trumpet with a flugel, it's similar. We've got Lucky on the djembe. And we've got Fred on the tambourine. Doing his offbeat gospel tambourine. He told us last time, I mean. Do you remember all the rhythms we taught you before? in with our groove, play the, the wood block, the djembe, the shaker, or the tambourine rhythm. Brilliant. Thank you so much for joining us. Hey, so today, our fifth South African Music Workshop, we're going to plow on and look at some new stuff. If you haven't yet seen the videos one, two, three, and four in our South African Music thing, please go and watch those before today, because today we're going to actually look at something that's called improvising. Now, improvising could be simply just kind of defined as making it up, doing your own thing. But, you know, you've got to kind of know a few things as well before you just make it up, because you couldn't just play anything or sing anything because it might not fit with what you're what you're gonna with all the other musicians as well. So I've got my, my keyboard here. Now the first thing we need to know there's a few things you need to know, particularly if you're gonna improvise a melody, and that's where you've got lots of different pictures, you need to know what key is the piece of music in. Well we are playing our piece of music in the key of G. There is G there. So the notes in the G major scale are G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, and G. Now, for this style of music, you could also put an F natural, a normal F in there as well, but they're the notes you're going to use. Now, really, if you're going to be in the key of G, it's probably best just to stick to those notes and not use many of the other notes as well. If you stick to just those notes, you should be okay. But also, one thing that's quite useful to know, when you have a chord of G, a chord of G has got a G, a B and a D in it. And it's quite nice when you finish a phrase, it's like when you finish a sentence, we put a full stop at the end of the sentence, don't we? Well, when you finish a phrase when you're improvising, it's quite nice to finish on a G, a B, or a D if you are in the key of G major. So when I've been playing here, I've been using three chords. I've been using the chord of G, the chord of C, and the chord of D. And that's it. So it just goes G, then C, then D, G. So that's the keyboard part. Now what would be lovely is to kind of give us a little bit of an example of some of the things you could do. Um, we've got Raoul who's on this flugel, flugel horn. Now we can see that looks a little bit different to a trumpet. It looks a little bit like you've gone like that and stretched it a little bit longer that way. Yeah, that's right. And uh, so that's the trumpet, a little thin and um, this is more like Christmas when you had a, a nice party and you had some um, of those uh, lovely uh, cakes and sweets, so you, you got a little bit fat. But the sound is quite, it's warm as well. Mm? Yeah. So, I mean, if I just play a couple of notes on the trumpet, uh, as you can see, it's kind of bright. So it's slightly more mellow. Now, we're talking about improvising. Well, first you need to know the melody. So I, I just wrote this a little bit for the right that's the melody so now improvise as the word says impro is an impro so it's like it's not uh, rehearsed it's not practiced but as you've heard from mike you need to know the harmonies so you can 
change and go because every chord has a scale uh, and so I'm playing the scale or you could put the, the that makes it more jazzy so let's see with this melody how can you improvise um, think of a so you go now that's a different kind of rhythm from the melody and also different kind of notes but nearly it's always embellished when you are supported by the harmony so when you have the chords then you can create but it's like um, I think the best thing is beginning to sing it doesn't matter the quality of the voice but uh, wh when you you sing you, you've got something in your heart and you go pa da pa da pa 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 there you go you're improvising so you're doing something for the first time impro um, I hope you, you understand uh, but yeah yeah great tell we could try I've got my keyboard I'm going to play this, so can you improvise a little melody over the top? Great, we like that, Rao, really nice. And I'll tell you what's great, there's some things that Rao was doing as well, you could hear. He wasn't playing fast notes the whole time. He wasn't playing slow notes the whole time. He wasn't playing the whole time. He had some bits where he had little bits of rest. So it's again coming back to that kind of rhythm definition we gave, where you have a rhythm is where you have a mixture of fast, slow notes and rests. Put them all together, it makes an interesting rhythm. It's exactly the same thing, but Rao just put some different pictures within it as well, and that makes it really interesting. So that's the thing that often we see when we do workshops in schools and we tell people to improvise on a drum. Sometimes they all just play as fast as they can the whole time. It's kind of okay, but it's not that interesting. It's really nice to kind of put some fast notes in, some slow notes in, some gaps in, some rests in it as well. That'd be really, really nice. Great. Now, that's the kind of start. In fact, there was a very famous South African musician who played the flugelhorn, Hugh Masekela. And um, he was did some amazing stuff like that. And that's very much that we've been influenced by that for our piece of music today. Um, but also, in this style of South African music, we also could sort of improvise some some bits of singing. Lucky, lucky, what could we do with our tune to sing? Ah, oh, cool. So we've got Celebrate. Could I have the key, please? So that I yeah. can sing. Celebrate. So we've got Celebrate, Celebrate. So right now we just have this line, which is Celebrate celebrate but we could really improvise but it really just put in that celebrate so instead of going just celebrate celebrate we could go celebrate 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 but we could also add in a few words so for instance you could really say as you celebrate um so you could really go Stamp your feet and celebrate, stamp your feet and celebrate, stamp your feet and celebrate, raise your hands and celebrate, raise your hands, celebrate, raise your hands and celebrate, turn around and celebrate, is really throwing in all these little things. If your school is called St. George's, St. George's, celebrate, St. George's, celebrate, so you can have two people doing just St. George's, Celebrate St. George's, celebrate. If it's your birthday and your class wanted to really sing happy birthday to you and they wanted to end up with celebrate, celebrate my birthday, celebrate my birthday, celebrate my birthday, celebrate. If your school is doing Black History Month, St. George's Day, Diwali, again, same thing. Diwali, celebrate, it's Diwali and celebrate. Diwali, Celeb, St. George's Day, and Celeb, St. Patrick's Day, Celeb, St. David's Day, Celebrate. So it's really around any celebration. Yeah, that's absolutely fantastic. And the thing that's I, what I love about this whole style is that, yeah, coming from that sort of Southern Africa, singing is just, 
happens spontaneously all the time. And people will just, maybe they'll be working, doing something, and they start making a song about working. Hey, Lucky, let's imagine um, that you're doing some work today. Maybe you are, perhaps, I don't know, you're answering emails on your computer. That's something you're going to do. How might you turn that kind of thing into a little bit of a song? You know, something that, you know, we're saying, oh, I've got to answer some emails. But, but, you know, how would you might turn it into a song? What might you do? I could really write a little song. So I'm working today. I've been working since morning, so I could go. Working every day, I do different jobs every day. You know what? I work on a Monday, working from home. I work on a Tuesday, doing some drumming by the sea. I work on a Wednesday, playing drums with my friends on a Thursday. I work out in my garden this, during this lockdown. So I could really just keep making up things, making up things. There's some people who do what we call freestyle rap. So they don't, they've never written the song, but they just get the mic and mm. really just speak a particular topic and really sing about it. So imagine doing your, maybe you're doing a composition about your trip to France, but instead of writing that on your piece of paper and you start going, Oh, trip to France with my family. We left London and went on the M2. We got to Dover and went on a ferry. Ferry took us to Carlisle, Dunkirk, and then you make up the whole song, a whole week of singing, and then you come back. It's brilliant. I just love it how there's just so much song there. And it kind of comes back a little bit to kind of this whole storytelling traditions that you get lots of storytellers there and singing it. But also, remember when we did in video one, when Lucky taught us that, gumboot those rhythms as well you know a lot of it you know for gumboot when they're in the gold mines they're kind of telling stories about the conditions they're in they're singing about being in there it wasn't really very nice to be in there you know and and they're kind of singing and voicing the opinion of the community that's the kind of stuff you get you know so you could create your own stuff hey tell you what i think we should have a go at playing our whole piece all the way through what do you reckon and let's see um shall we um maybe have a little bit of our flugel horn um, that do 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 that nice little melody we'll put that in and then i think it would be lovely if we could have some of our celebrate let's celebrate we're going to put a bit of that in as well um would be really really good um, and then uh, depending on what instrument you're in you can improvise around improvise a written the djembe but remember don't play fast the whole time put in lots of different speeds lots of different rests in it as well shall we give it a go here we go so let's have our, our nice little flugel melody here we go one, two, three, here we go, and... <laughs> Celebrate, 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 celebrate
Fantastic to have us all playing well together today. So that's the end of our videos, but remember we've still got the quiz to answer all the questions on there. And also please join us for some other videos. This has just been South Africa. Now on our website we have some Cuban, we've got some Samba, we've got some West African, we've got lots and lots of different styles of music. So please keep coming back to the website and you'll see and you can learn loads and loads of more. Thanks so much everyone. Bye. Bye.